In this episode of the Cub Master Minute, we'll discuss how to complete the two youth protection requirements for your scout's next rank. Hi everyone, Mr. Maloney here for the Cub Master Minute presented by PAC 457 in Zelianople, Pennsylvania. With school out for the holidays and our scouts spending more time with family and friends, it's a great time to work on completing the two youth protection requirements needed for your scout to earn their next rank. These two requirements are, first, with your parent, guardian, or other caring adult, complete the exercises in the pamphlet entitled How to Protect Your Children from Child Abuse, A Parent's Guide. And two, for scouts not working towards their lion rank, they also need to earn their cyber chip award for their age or earn the protect yourself rules preview adventure for their rank. Both requirements are an important part of the Boy Scouts of America's comprehensive youth protection policies. Some portions of these requirements can be completed in a den meeting. However, completing these requirements can generate a lot of discussion that are best held between the scout and their parents and guardians first. We want to make sure that your positions and perspectives are reflected in these discussions. So let's talk about how to complete these two requirements. The first requirement, again, with your parent, guardian, or other caring adult, complete the exercise pamphlet entitled How to Protect Your Children from Child Abuse, a Parent's Guide. Parents should read the youth protection pamphlet that's included on, at the front of your scout's handbook. An online version is also available in the show notes. After reading the uh, pamphlet, discuss the questions at the end of the pamphlet with your scout. Be sure they understand the BSA's policies regarding youth protection. Now, the second requirement is to earn the Cyber Chip Award for your scout's age or earn the Protect Yourself Rules Preview Adventure for, the, uh, for your scout's rank. Now, the BSA is in the process of phasing out the CyberChip Award, and many of the videos necessary to earn that award are no longer available. So we're encouraging our scouts to earn the Protect Yourself uh, Rules adventure. There are five requirements for completing this adventure. First, watch the Protect Yourself video lessons for the adventure. Second, know the six Protect Yourself rules. Third, Describe what cyberbullying is and identify things you should never tell about yourself to others when you're online. Fourth, describe three ways to get out of any situation where, with someone who is making you feel unsafe. And fifth, list five safe adults that you could go to if someone is making you feel unsafe. A link to all the requirements and video resources is available down in the description. Now, there are a few questions that I'm frequently asked about these requirements. First, does my scout need to complete these requirements every year? Simply put, the answer is yes. Your scout is expected to earn or complete these requirements every year in order to advance in rank. This helps keep these policies and practices fresh in your and your scout's minds. Secondly, my scout earned their Bobcat badge this year do they need to complete these activities again so they can earn their next rank? No, these requirements only need to be completed once per year. Your den leader will mark these requirements as complete for both your Bob, uh, scout's bobcat and next rank. Third, what do I do when my scout and I have completed these requirements? Once your scout's completed these requirements, you as the parent can mark them as completed in scout book. Check out the link in the description for a video explaining that process. Or you can let me or your scout's den leader know that the requirements are complete and we'll mark them off. We at PAC 457, English Lutheran Church, our charter organization, and the entire Boy Scouts of America organization take the safety and well-being of our scouts and anyone in, who participates in our program to be of the utmost importance. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me or to any other member of the PAC leadership team if you have any questions about these policies and how they are applied in our PAC. Thank you in advance for your help in reinforcing the importance of following our youth protection rules. And until next time, stay safe and stay scouting.